Caitlin Babcock Caitlin here with us today. She has a SoundCloud, has a, SoundCloud a, Facebook. a Facebook, and I think that's it. And I think yeah. that's it. You don't have a website, right? You don't have a website. Mm -hmm. No, SoundCloud and Facebook. No SoundCloud and Facebook. So, um, while we're so, on well, the break, we're, while we're on the Kyle break. Roberts. Kyle Roberts. I will shut your microphone off. I will off. shut your microphone off. All right, so while we're on a break, I was talking to Caitlin about, um, <laughs> I just asked her what, she, what she's kind of been up to lately, and um, you said, not that we need to get into it or anything like that, but you just said you've been spending a lot of time. Yeah, in, I was, yeah, I was visiting my grandpa in the hospital. Okay, no yeah, and I saw, I did kind of see some of that stuff on Facebook, I saw that it was yep. really hard for you. Yeah, so. he passed away two weeks ago, it's yeah. all good. Um, yeah, I, I went to see him at lunch every day for two months straight, so that was cool. It was yeah, good company. So, I'm glad I had that time with him. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. he was 87, so. So he lived a pretty, yeah. pretty long life then. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Um, so cool dude. you said something about being a nurse. Yes. Um, I got super attached to like I'm always at the hospital. Like my mom works at the hospital. She works in coding. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, she works in coding. So like I always go in and have lunch with her. Um, like even now, even. <laughs> So I go and have lunch with her and stuff, and I see that all the time too. Yeah, I follow Caitlin on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So like I'm just like used to being at the hospital, and then it's like grown on me, and like I like being there. Like I love the feel of it, and like I just love the idea of like going to work and just helping people all day. That's like awesome to me, and I I would love. I wouldn't just want to be a nurse. I would just I would either want to be a pediatric nurse or I want to do pediatric oncology. So okay. Like, yeah. That, that would be really that hard. Would be so you were talking about how you could never work in a nursing home because you get too attached. Talk yeah. about pediatric oncology. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. I could never do it. Um, um, where I work, one of my other jobs, I uh, we have a group that's called One Step, and they're all cancer and brain tumor kids, yeah. all under sixteen. They come. Some of them are in pretty good shape and some of them are not we actually just had a kid who um has came the last four years that i've worked there he had a really bad seizure and he passed away and it was just terrible he's a twin it was really really hard it's still <laughs> it's still really hard he was a great kid um do you think you'd um like incorporate your love of music into like a career like that because you yeah. probably do you see yourself like doing just a music career um as yeah. you get older yeah i kept going back and forth i was like i was like no i'm just gonna do music that's all i've ever allowed but not that a lot i allowed myself that but like that's all i ever saw myself doing i never really thought about anything else because it was just always about music mm -hmm. and now that i was like oh hospitals are cool maybe i'll be a nurse you know <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know it would be awesome to do both if i could that would be amazing and that would be like perfectly ideal because I was like literally writing out the pros and cons of each today on a piece of paper because I was like I don't know what to do with my life like <laughs> don't uh don't feel bad you're seven 16? 16 16 16 yeah. 17 in May and you feel like that okay I'm gonna be 22 soon and I still have like panic attacks <laughs> like I'm like I'm like uh okay okay yeah I'm 22 and I'm trying to be a musician and it's it's cool it's <laughs> fine I, I work for the paper too that's 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 fine it's like it's like <laughs> so you just start panicking a little bit and it's yeah no i totally i totally get you um a career that does like like um medical type stuff and music though you could look into music therapy yeah i thought about that i thought too. about that um going out of high school but unfortunately i just didn't have the means for the college oh, for that it's yeah. uh, it's expensive so. I know, we just did the ACT, like, a few weeks ago, and Ugh. I'm, like, so scared for, like, results and stuff. And, Don't like, worry about it. Well, like, if I want to be a nurse, like, I'm going to go to a good school. I would love to go to Madison. Like, I still want to stay in the Madison area because that's still, like, just far enough, but it's not too far. Good music um, scene, too. Exactly. Yep. It's got good Lots music. Lots of live music everywhere. We have an incredible health system there, too, so yep. I would love, but I would have to have at least a 27 on my ACT. That's going to be really hard to do, but, you know, what? Yeah. I'll do it. It's I don't remember what I got. That's a long time ago. <laughs> Those were the worst days of my life yeah it was a long <laughs> two days oh my god um i remember though that like half the math problems i i didn't understand <laughs> and then um the science had more reading than the reading yeah i just quit reading the i just quit reading the paragraphs and the graphs and stuff and i just started answering i didn't even care anymore i was so done did you have to take the work keys huh? yeah yeah that one was so the easy easiest it was test I've really, ever taken. but it was so practical like one of the Very first practical, questions it was like i don't know if i'm allowed to talk like, about it i signed some stuff and I'm like whatever but like <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions is literally like, oh, here is his total of, like, 282. He hands you a $10 bill. What is his change? That was literally and one of the questions. Most of the questions why I took it was, what is, here's a sign. What does this sign say? But 
Yeah, mm-hmm. very easy. That was, yeah, that was like, oh, I don't know what it's called, but that was like a reading thing. Yeah. yeah. Then you read like like a form and it says like, it gives you instructions and stuff and then it has like a question. And it's like, like, what time do you hmm. have to be at the meeting? Yeah, according to this paragraph, what time do you have to be here? And like, yeah. I got a good question. Since you are both, Kyle and Caitlin, are both uh, still in school, yeah, in high school. Um, not, what not you, with you. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry. What, no, definitely. No. Unfortunately, because you're with Kyle. But um, what do you guys think of the fact of how many, how many high schools and how many just elementary schools, how many school systems are taking away, like the arts, oh, music God. and music and drawing and see? Okay, thank you. Hot Love topic. the reaction. Hot topic uh, of the hour. I have I have Hi. very strong opinions. Mm, we're on the radio, though, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Keep it PG. Uh, no, I want to I wanna know your guys' opinions um, because mm, it's, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, as an overall. Especially in Boston. Right now we have a fantastic band. Like, yeah, you guys do. Like the marching band, the jazz band, the symphonic, all of it. It's all, it's all great. Even the city band is pretty good. And uh, we don't really focus on it enough. I mean... A lot of people, like, know Boston for the Cheesehead Band, uh, but the school is focusing more on things that don't really correlate with I feel like that. a lot of focus goes on to athletics a lot of Absolutely. the time. And I have nothing against athletics. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, Caitlin just came from softball. Oh, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, we, we are all, you know, I did, um, not that most of you people out there will agree with me, but I, you know, I did dance for years. I did competitive cheerleading for three years. You know, it's, and athletics is great. It builds a different, it builds good skills, mm-hmm. but but it doesn't build the same skills mm-hmm. as music. music programs. I did a project on how and music affects programs. the brain, and, like, it's insane the way music affects your brain because if you think about all the multitasking going along, even if you're, like, playing an instrument while singing, like, that's working so many things because you're working with your motor skills, you're working with language, and, like, there were studies that showed that, like, people that play music and are, like, musicians and stuff and listen to a lot of music, like, music actually acts as, like, a second language in your head, so, and, like, they, they had a lot of different brain scans comparing kids that, like, don't, like, they like music, obviously, like, most people like music, mm-hmm. but, like, they put, like, musicians next to just, like, non-musicians, and it was incredible the different amounts of brain activity, and, like, that's crazy. Yeah, Kyle, um, I always give him crap because he'll be like, Bree, play this, and I'm like, I'm trying to focus on singing this, and he's like, you can do both, I'm like, do you not understand how actually hard it is when mm-hmm. I play and sing at the same time? Yeah. Like, there's no, there's just no way. And I can especially do... <laughs> if it's coming from the, like your memory. Yeah. Because like if you're yep. doing it from memory, you're like remembering that, and then you're like picturing things in your head, and you're still you're... putting emotion and mm-hmm. dynamics and all this exactly. stuff in. And that's one of mine and Kyle's goals right now is we have to continually add new songs. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. because we play we play gigs and sometimes we play the same places. You can't yeah. always bring back the same set list. Yeah. You need to keep it interesting. So we got to keep it interesting, but we're also trying to get out of music. Mm-hmm. You know, we always have a binder up there with all of our songs, and most people don't care because, you know, you put it low enough, you kind of put it off to the side. Most mm-hmm. people don't care because they're enjoying the music, but Absolutely. some people care, and I get that, you know, so yeah. we're trying to memorize stuff. But when you've got 60, 80 songs to memorize, you're mm-hmm. like, yeah. uh, what comes next? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what are the words? Sometimes I'm looking at the music, and I can't remember what comes uh, next because I'm like... My directions are 40 different ways, but yeah, I'd actually love to, do you have, like, that project you did, is there some kind of report or something um, that you wrote? Or? I did a slideshow on it. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe there's some way we that. can put that on the website. Yeah, I so that'd be that. really cool. I could probably write up something or you whatever. Well, totally cool. yeah. you should send us a, you should send us the slideshow, if that's cool with you. Oh, yeah, You'll get, you know, I'll put all your name and stuff underneath oh, it. Yeah, um, but it'd be cool to get that on the website so yeah. people can see, like, the, mm-hmm. like, how much... The, it takes to be a musician and stuff. Huge. It's crazy. And, well, your brain can't multitask, and like so that's right, it like switches in between. Yeah, it switches in between like mm-hmm. compartments, well, right? And like my mom, she's about to have surgery in April, and they actually said that like they'll put they can put music like they'll put headphones on, in her ears while she's having surgery, and it'll it actually is proven to help the healing process. And like I don't know how, but I I would love to do some more research on it. Um, sure. but like it helps like the healing process, and it helps like all of this crazy stuff and I was like what? Well, that's kind of like they say if you sing to plants they grow faster yeah I don't, so you didn't know I that had a yeah speaker on my cactus for the last few months okay cactuses don't grow that fast cacti sorry well it's name is Tyrone 
I love this <laughs> cactus so much. Like, it's a Christmas cactus and all. And, I, and it's, it's awesome. Well, no, no, no. The cactus is Thirsty Fred, sorry. But Thirsty Fred's been sitting in front of a speaker with a turntable playing the Shaft soundtrack since, uh... It's been on repeat since... What month is it? It's March. Uh... January 23rd. Like, almost three months. Almost three months. Is it growing? No. Okay, maybe you shouldn't try with a cactus. Though. Maybe you should try with like some other plant I, that grows faster. I'm not a gardener, but... Anyways, we do have to take a break, and when we come back, Caitlin is going to play her original Keep Your Chin Up for us, right? It's a really that funky one? cactus. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so stay tuned. You're listening to Local Frequencies, your connection to the local music scene. 